Angela Merkel's Germany will have to dominate Europe even more to save the future of the European project, it has been warned. Germany, the EU's economic powerhouse and strongest anchor, is being urged to show leadership within the corridors of power or face the consequences. Analysts say the coronavirus crisis, which has swept across the globe, has forced Berlin to realize it will have to show strong leadership or the EU won't survive. James D. Bindenagel, professor at the Rheinisch Friedrich Wilhelms University in Bonn, told politics news site politco.co.uk, if Germany doesn't show leadership in Europe, there won't be a Europe. German Chancellor Ms. Merkel appeared to recognize her nation's influence on the EU stage in comments she made recently during a speech to lay out Germany's plans for EU presidency. She told MPs, Europe needs us, just as we need Europe. How Europe fares in this crisis compared to other regions of the world will determine both the future of European prosperity and Europe's role in the world. Ivan Krastev, a European affairs analyst and chairman of the Centre for Liberal Strategies in Sofia, added, For the first time, the Germans have recognized that we're in a totally different world and they're trying to find their place. It's Merkel revising Merkel. His remarks come amid warnings the EU's inability to handle the coronavirus crisis has left its future in jeopardy. The economy of the 27-nation EU has been plunged into a deep recession after lockdown measures were imposed in nations across the continent from mid-March to halt the pandemic. The bloc agreed a rescue package worth half a trillion euros to aid battered economies, but this was not without fraught discussions between the more fiscally conservative North and the indebted South, which has been hit hard by the pandemic and pushed for unprecedented measures like issuing joint EU debt. For weeks, EU member states struggled to put on a united front in the face of the pandemic, squabbling over money, medical equipment and drugs, border restrictions and trade curbs, amid fraught talks laying bare their bitter divisions. Southern EU states, led by Italy, demanded far-reaching measures like issuing joint debt, clashed with the Netherlands, which acted as the bulwark of the fiscally conservative North and called for more restraint and narrowly focused measures. 